Hello. Take a look at it. Yeah. Is that what you talking about when you wanted the picture last night? Yeah. yeah. I just wanted to make sure that was in there. Because yeah. it won't play if it's not. What is that? It's the uh, the memory expansion. Okay. So It'd if it's quiet. not in there and you put a game in, it won't play. Right. There you are. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Fifteen bucks for an N64. Not bad. On to the next. It's like <laughs> they're coming in a rough spot here. Hold on. Spot, ain't you? Yeah. Alright. Hey. Yeah, I definitely need that for, for the collection. You like and it's pretty good shape, man. I was yeah. Pretty, it's been in my shop inside of the filing cabinet. Yeah. Said, 95 to 10 days. You said two bucks? Yeah, I mean I don't know what it was. Two dollars. That's pretty good. Yeah, me. that's fair to me. How much are you going for? Some games that are harder to find. Um I can go for like a, first one a good, good little bit of money, but usually sports games are only a couple bucks. But there you go, man. I appreciate it. You're welcome, man. Thank you. I'm sorry about that. Oh, but, no, that's all right. But yeah. Um, so then. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, that's the adapt. That's the power adapter. I just don't know how that phone is going. That's the RF cable. Oh, so let me take a look at the back of it. Yeah, that's good. I just so wonder. Figure out what that was. Oh, uh, King Griffey. Yeah. Gotcha. I got some cheat codes in here. Heck yeah. yeah. <laughs> NBA Jam game. Yeah, oh yeah. Just love collecting them cheat codes. They used to have a bunch of old stuff. I guess they threw it all the way. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't like hearing that. Yeah, when they do like that, that's rough. Sweet. Controller. Seen better days. 50 bucks? Yeah, I man, if you think right. it's worth it, I'd probably yeah. have it. How much you asking on your games? Uh, the ones that were in their front were four. Let's just make them all four. All four. I know that um, some of them are marked, unless they're marked lower. Okay. Some of them are like five, uh, but they'll be four and eight too. <laughs>
Okay, I'll take this one. Four ho dollars. Man. Four ho dollars. I found these right here that I'd like. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. How are we all? 
well, we're going to be here, safe and sound. How much asking on your PlayStation 2? What about the system? Uh, 15. 15? Were these the only games you had? Yeah that's, yeah, that's what he played. You don't happen to have like any old Nintendo, would you? No. Nintendo, or Sega, the old, one, uh -uh. The old stuff. Did you have more games than this laid out? Just, no, uh, that's Just, it. These are all the mm -hmm. ones you had. Would you take ten on this? Uh, you, yeah, I'll take I'll take fifteen for it all. For all of it. Mm -hmm. I'm not really interested in the game. I just want the system. Okay, take that. <laughs> there you are. Thank you. Thank you. How much is this ball? Okay, YouTube, so let's go over everything that I picked up this week. All right, so I had to stack all the games, did not have enough room to lay everything out. Some stuff has already sold, and uh, I'll let you know what that stuff is when we get to it. So, the beginning of the week, a guy hit me up uh, with a picture of a bunch of stuff, and I made him an offer of $50 just for the Nintendo 64 stuff that he had, he said, all right, if you pay me the $50, I'll throw in the PlayStation stuff too. I said, great. So I uh, went to the guy's house and I filmed everything. And then later this week, I was in my phone deleting footage from last week. And somehow two pickups that I had on film this week got deleted. But I did show the facebook messages where the deal went down so at least you got to see that yes we agreed on a price all right so i go to the guy's house he had a big box of game stuff in that box was a really nice ps2 controller however it does not work so we'll chunk that um a really nasty grimy third party n64 controller we'll chunk that uh, we've got a what appears to be a wireless third-party PS2 controller missing the back, no receiver, no use to me. There was a loose copy of Namco Museum on DS. Uh, SingStar 80s, yeah, chunk. Triple Play 2002, we'll chunk that one too. SingStar Pop Volume 2. Chunk it. <laughs> Sing Star Amped. Chunk it. All right. Kesson. I did not have this. And so this will be going into the collection. Uh, it was no manual, but 
a game I did not have that I'm actually interested in keeping. Probably the most interesting thing I found in that box was a factory sealed copy of God of War 2 Black Label. There is a nick, a little nick like right here on the on the edge of the spine. And on one of the corners there's a tiny little hole right there next to next to my finger. Um, other than that, it's in really, really good condition. But factory sealed. So definitely, definitely happy to find that. Ridge Racer 7, I did not have. So that'll be going into the collection. SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, this is complete. And I was surprised to find out that this sells for about $15 on eBay. So I've got it currently listed for $14.99. Help me recoup some of the costs I spent. Stuntman Ignition, I already have, so that's a duplicate for me. That is complete. And then a couple of sports games on the PS3. We got Fight Night Round 3 and Madden 08. Nothing special there. We have the power cable for the N64. Uh, no AV cables. Uh, there were uh, no controllers either. However, the N64 did have a red expansion pack, and I already listed that on eBay, and I sold it for $32.99. So that helped recoup a lot of my costs back. The Jungle Green I did not have in my collection, so I was very happy to find this. This makes four out of the six fantastic colors that I now have. I am still missing uh, Grape and the Fire Orange. And then gold and the Pikachu, I am also still missing. But the games that were included, uh, two will be going into my collection and the rest are doubles. The two that are going into the collection are Dr. Mario 64. And I've already got that labeled, ready to be put on the shelf. And Revolt. And then the doubles were The World Is Not Enough, Pokemon Snap, which would be an easy flip. And hey you Pikachu. So uh, there was another game in this lot and it was um, NFL Street. Uh, NFL Street 1 on PS2 Black Label Complete and that has already sold for $9.99. Alright. Now... I picked up another N64 from the pawn shop, I bundled it with some games, and sold it last night for $85. So that is going to be the only console that is currently missing from this table. Um, out yard selling today, uh, I found two sealed DVDs, a dollar each, why not? Um, brand new movies are very easy to flip. So with the N64 that I got from the pawn shop, there were two controllers. There was a nice blue third-party controller and then this gray first-party controller. Both of them had very tight sticks, have very tight sticks. Um, I'd rate them about a 9 out of 10. And then I picked up another N64 that was just console and power pack only. So I was able to take this controller and pair it up with that and then I've got some extra AV cables and I'll be able to bundle it with some of these extra games and get that sold. So we'll get this out of the way. And in the comments let me know what you found this week. Alright so came across another Facebook Marketplace Super Nintendo bundle. This guy had his bundle listed for $420, and I took a screenshot of it and sent it to a couple of people. I sent it to Gamers Manuel, and he's sitting there laughing. I sent it to Collector's Luck, he's laughing. And uh, there's the train in the background. I do apologize, there's always a train when I'm recording. Um, so, I sent, the me I sent a message to the guys like, why is your bundle so expensive? I'm just curious. He responds an hour later. He's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. That is a complete typo. I'm asking $120. I said, oh, okay, well, that makes a lot more sense. 
I said, would you take a hundred bucks? He said, yes. And so for a hundred bucks, we got this Super Nintendo, a um, little bit yellowed, still works. There's a little bit of cosmetic damage here and there, but it's still in fantastic working condition. And that came with, you know, the power cable, AV cables. It also came with two controllers and this stack of games right here. So, and this is a pretty good stack other than, you know, Monopoly. So we had Monopoly. We've got Super Mario World. Killer Instinct. And the labels on these, majority of them are in really good condition. Super Mario Kart. Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong Country 2. Donkey Kong Country 3. And then the three that I get to keep will be Super Battleship. An extra copy of Super Mario World that I'll be able to list with another Super Nintendo. So he had he actually had two copies. And then the cream of the crop was Kirby Superstar. That's about a $35 to $40 game right there. Um, this particular pickup, this Super Nintendo pickup, was one of the pickups where the footage was lost. So you at least get to see the uh, Facebook message conversation between him and I where we agree on $100. Um, Alright, so then on to the pawn shop pickups. Nothing too crazy this week, but Dragon Ball Xenoverse... Skyrim Special Edition, you know, the one game I love to hate. Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition, never even heard of this game, but I looked it up when I found it today, and it's still selling for around 30 bucks. Picked it up for $9, so easy flip there. And then, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops and Black Ops 2, the combo pack. Uh, this was actually on the shelf for two dollars, and this still sells very well between 15 to 20 bucks. And the reason it still sells well is because the Black Ops series is uh, compatible on Xbox One. So, if you see Call of Duty Black Ops or Call of Duty Black Ops 2, just single games, if you see both of them in a in a bundle, grab both of them, and then you can lot them together on eBay. And sell them for you know around twenty dollars, so they're still selling very well. All right, <coughs> excuse me. At the yard sales today, I uh, found a PlayStation Two Slim. Had the power cable, AV cables, really nice controller. But once again, a really nice condition controller that does not work. I'm telling you, people. These first-party Sony PS2 controllers are becoming notoriously hard to find in good working condition. Every time I find a really, really nice cosmetic conditioned controller, it never seems to work. Never. But the PS2 Slim is in really nice condition as well. I uh, picked that up for 10 bucks. <coughs> Excuse me. Then at another sale, I picked up some PlayStation games. And I get there and there's like a box of PS2 and PS1 games. I picked out some stuff that I haven't heard of. And I picked out some stuff that I had heard of. One of these games, the only reason I picked it up was because of, um, I believe it was Chase After the Right Price, picked it up and lo and behold... I was able to figure, you know, I was able to learn what the value of that game was. So we'll just go through them. So we got Spider. That was loose disc. I'd never heard of it. And I, I didn't look it up there at the yard sale. So I just took a chance on, on picking it up. It's, it's worth less than 10 bucks. This is the one that um, I saw in Chase's video. It was Disruptor. His was complete. 
uh, this one was just loose disc, but when I saw it in his video, um, I looked it up on price charting and saw that, you know, it's complete fetching between $30 to $40. So on eBay alone, this game disc only is going for around 20 bucks, And I was able to get it for $0.50 cents a day. Um, I did resurface it and test it, and it works great. Did not, <coughs> excuse me, did not have Namco Museum Volume 3. Now I knew that there's five volumes of this and three out of the five uh, fetch good money. And that would be volumes two, four, and five. I couldn't remember off the top of my head which ones they were, but PlayStation volume, uh, Namco Museum Volume 1 and 3 um, do not fetch as much money as two, four, and five. But I picked it up anyway. It was a game I did not have. Spec Ops Covert Assault, also a game I did not have. Surprisingly, Naval Ops Commander fetches 12 to 15 bucks complete. I know it looks pretty uh, generic as far as the, the cover art, but I'd never heard of it, and I looked it up, um, and yeah, surprisingly, it fetches about 12 to 15 bucks. This one I already knew of. This is one of those kind of like hidden gems as far as value-wise is concerned. And that's Disney's Extreme Skate Adventure. Now it does have a little bit of cover art bubbling right there. But it is complete and the condition of the disc is really nice. This can fetch you anywhere between $15 to $20. That's one of those little... those one of those little gems that kind of slips through the crack and not many people know to pick that one up. All right, then I had a guy hit me up and say, hey, I found one N64 game, it's yours for $2. I was like, okay, great. And it was one that I did not have for the collection. So, NBA Jam 99, two bucks. Um, at another sale, I picked up Family Guy, uh, Back to the Multiverse for four dollars and that was nice and complete what was that okay and uh, that was another game I did not have so that's going into the collection all right then we come to the pickup of the week this guy actually hit me up about a month ago and he's like hey I saw your ad um, I work on the road I'm a truck driver I'm not home a lot but next time I get home I'm going to go through what I have, and I know I've got some old Nintendo stuff. I was like, great, yeah, just, just hit me up, man, whenever you can. So yesterday, I get a message from him out of the blue, and so that was, that's Friday for you, for you guys. Um, so Friday, I get a message from him out of the blue, and he's like, hey, uh, here's some of that stuff that I said I had. And he sends me a picture of a bunch of Super Nintendo stuff. All right, so in... in one picture there was the system inside of a paper bag uh, with controllers one first party and then there's the super uh, super pad by performance uh, no AV cables but there was an RF cable and then the power brick there were a bunch of other uh, power adapters for like cell phones and stuff in the paper bag and I already chunked those they were for like old Motorola's and whatnot. And then he had a shoebox full of games. So uh, he sent me the picture of the shoebox and the, the games were kind of covered up. And I was like, is there any way you can spread them out so I can see what all you have? He's like, yeah. So when he did, I was like, well, how much are you wanting on everything? He's like, man, I don't even know. Just shoot me an offer. I was like, would you take 50 bucks for everything? He's like, yeah, sure. So... I went to this house and picked it up. It was about a good 15-20 minute drive, but it was very well worth it. So, six of the games had dust covers. I usually take these off and I'll bundle and list those on eBay. It doesn't really bother me not to have them. Alright, and then we'll get down here to the cream of the crop. So, we have Super Pinball behind the mask. Don't worry, it's nothing valuable. 
it's just Ken Griffey uh, Junior Baseball. Now, if this would have been like, because I saw that Blockbuster sticker, if this would have been like uh, Turtles in Time, because that little blue corner right there kind of made me think it might be Turtles in Time. And then I saw the MLB logo in the right-hand corner. I was like, oh, no, that's not. <laughs> no worries. Um, all right, so then we have Stunt Race FX. Pretty good game there. All-time classic NBA Jam. Killer Instinct. Donkey Kong Country. Turn these around, and then we got Super Mario All Stars. Zombies ate my neighbors. Caesar's Palace. Okay, and then there's my copy that I had of Will of Fortune Deluxe Edition. So there's my copy, and now I'm doing a condition upgrade to this copy. And it is a label variant as well. But this one is in much better condition. And then we've got Final Fantasy 2. And the pickup of the week. Sunset Riders. So fantastic score for 50 bucks. But that's not all, folks. Because when I get home and I take this Super Nintendo apart I get down to the board you know I had to take the this piece off and then there's a, a silver heat shield on top of the board I take the heat shield off and lo and behold this is the one chip model so not only was it a fantastic score for 50 bucks for everything on top of it it's the one chip model Super Nintendo so for those of you that don't know Super Nintendo basically in like around 95 combined both of their chips that were on the previous models of the Super Nintendo into one chip. And the one chip Super Nintendos have way better video output than the previous models. So these one chips fetch more money on eBay. A nice clean cop a uh, nice clean Super Nintendo with one chip such as this one. I mean, this is really nice gray um, They can fetch upwards of a hundred dollars Whereas, you know something like this, you know can fetch 35 40 bucks um, so That is why everyone should when you pick up a Super Nintendo always open them up to see if you have the one chip model but there you have it, folks. There is the pickups of the week. If you've enjoyed the content, by all means, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that button and hit the bell icon so you get notifications every single time I upload new content. I hope you've had a fantastic week. I know I have. I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.